Hi everyone, in this video we will cover how to create a framework for mobile automation using APM. So for that go to Eclipse. Here to create a sample Maven project you can click on file, new, project. Then select a Maven project here, click on next. Select this option, create a sample project, simple project. Then click on next. Here you can give the group ID as com.qa. Any name like FM test, copy it, paste it here, click on finish. So, what it will do, it will create a simple project here, and you will get a pom.xml file. Inside this file, you need to declare all the dependencies that you require. So, to work with the APM, initially we saw that you will need a Selenium with Java, test ng. For proper report generation, we will be using extend report and to work with the APM, we will need Java client library. So, I will close this now. In this way, you can create a sample, like a simple uh, framework here, framework structure. So, I will show you now the one which I have already created. So, I have created this mobile framework, APM framework here using the same steps i have created this uh, simple framework then inside my pom.xml i have used these dependencies so i have used the dependencies like i have used this selenium with java then test ng java client library and extend report so we need these four dependencies here so once you got your pom.xml you need to copy these dependencies and paste it here now maven will handle the these dependencies it will automatically download those dependencies the next step you need to do is like you need to create some packages in your src main java so you need to create a package for your base page like you can go here you can create a package so you can go Select from Java package option here. You can give the package name as com.qa.base and you can create three more packages like com.qa.config You can create one package as com.qa.pages So in this package we will have our classes then we can create one more package for the utilities like com.qa.utilities now we are done with src main java so again to have our application folder here like uh, we will be using one apk file so to give the path of that file in our taste base class we will be creating one folder here go to general select folder and the folder name will be applications and inside this applications folder we will store our apk file so we will be using this app I will copy this file and paste it here so it is now at applications and this is our apk file inside this application folder now we will go to src test java here we will create one more package as go to java packages next com.qa.test cases here we will have our actual test cases so this is our structure now inside src main java we are having com.qa.base package config package pages utilities inside src test java we are having com.qa.test cases we have this applications folder here where we are storing our apk file and in the pom.xml we have added 
this four dependencies selenium java java client library test ng and extend reports so now i will explain you the framework that i have already created using the same structure here so here in my framework like i showed you i'm using this form.xml using these four dependencies then i am having src main java here inside this com.qa.base i have created one class as a test base class inside this test base class i will be using some reusable methods so i will have my proper configuration here and i will be using some reusable methods here so i will explain you this code now so i am using some uh, classes from the different libraries so i am using some uh, test ng and java uh, classes and also using java client library classes so here we have our test base class inside this test base class we have declared the android driver also we will be requiring like apm server url and the port number so generally with apm we use 0000 or 12700 .0 .0 one and port number as 4723 we have created this url here so initially we will assign it to none and inside our one of the method we will declare it and initialize it using these two variables now we have also used this properties class here so we are using this properties just because uh, in real world scenarios we generally use or.properties file so what this or.property file save it generally contains the uh, values uh, key values pair so i have this or.properties inside this com.qa.config package here you can just go to new and here you can select a file and you can create over dot properties file so this over dot properties file will contain your environment details it can contain your browser details credentials you can have your username and password here and using those configuration you can run your app on a particular environment so you can give here your environment details username passwords in this framework we will not be using it but in the real world scenarios uh, we generally use this over dot config file or dot properties file in this config package so now what this code is uh, doing right now is it will take this over dot properties file from this package and it will load this uh, properties file so this test based class will be used by the other child classes so this class will act as a super class for other classes so what will happens is like whenever we create the object of child classes the constructor of this test base this constructor will get called and this code line will be get executed also we have used here exception handling mechanism using try and catch block so what it will do like it will load these contents in this over dot properties file so whatever the details we have in the key values pair here like username equals to username one two three and password equals to pass one two three whatever details we have here it will load those details using this line of code now we will see other code like we have here initialize driver method and inside this method we are using this set capabilities android method so we will first look at this method like what this method is doing right now is it is setting these desired capabilities so generally to work with apm like we saw manually as well we need to mention the desired capabilities and similarly we are doing it here like we are creating this gap object and we are setting the desired capabilities here like we are setting our desired device name as emulator triple five four we are using this app so we want this app to be installed on a, this virtual device so we have given the path of this app and this app will point to we are using this mobile capability dot uh, mobile capability type dot app so this app is pointing to this app stream so we are using this class and we have declared it here 
we have imported this package so now we have uh, mentioned two capabilities like device name as emulator triple five four we have passed the app path here so it will take the path like it will go to this user dot directory then to applications and from here it will copy this application file and install it on a virtual device this virtual device also we have mentioned the capabilities like our platform version as 11.0 so we will be using the virtual device which is having android version as 11.0 our platform name is android and automation name is your automator 2 and this method is returning the desired capabilities and we are using that here so using this line of code we are our we are starting our apm session and here we are using like apm equals to new url here we have http colon slash slash this apm server will point to this string 127.001 and our apm port number is 4723 so it will take from here and plus we are appending slash wd slash hub where wd strands uh, stands for web driver also in this framework we are using the take screenshot path as method which will be taking the screenshot of the failed test cases whenever our test case will get failed this method we are calling using some test ng listeners so we'll take this uh, code and uh, we will again have a look at it whenever when we will talk about the uh, listeners in test ng so the code is pretty much similar to what we have in the civil game as well and uh, it will take the screenshot of the failed test cases and it will store at this path so it will go to this path it will create a reports folder and inside this report folder it will uh, get the test case name and it will append dot png extension so it will take a screenshot and it will store that screenshot in this reports folder now once we are done with the test based setup now we will have a look at the uh, what we are going to automate here in this uh, in the one of the test cases that we will be performing so let me show it manually right now so for that i will be starting my android studio and apm server in android studio start your virtual device manager and i will be using this pixel 5 api 30 virtual device which is having android version as 11.0 so I will start this. So I will launch my emulator. This is started and also I will start my APM server and I will cross check it using command prompt and here I will execute ADB devices and it is showing emulator 554. So our device is ready to use. Now I will start my inspector session in APM. I will go to this desired capabilities here and I will edit this desired capabilities. So here we are using Android as 11.0 now and our app Nexus 5 API 30. So our is Pixel 5 API 30. Let me check it once again. Our device is Pixel 5 API 30. I will save as pixel file save go to save capabilities select okay let me check it again pixel file api 30 save as pixel file save here we have pixel 5 so android version is 11.0 pixel 5 api 30 okay we can start our inspector session so now what it will do it will install this app from this location like from this path c drive on this virtual device and you can see this app is launched here and we can refresh this inspector session once and we can see it is ready to use now. Now, 
what we will do manually right now is I will select this element first we need to click on this accept button tap then I will go to the side menu option click on it then I will go to help and feedback click on it and here on this help and feedback page we will check whether this help is visible or not so this is our test case we will first click on the accept button then we'll go to side menu option from there we will click on the help and uh, feedback button and we will check whether this help is visible or not on this particular page so for that we need to go to our com.qa.test cases here i have created this flow test case and for this I have also created the locator song there uh, you can go to src main java and inside this com.qa.pages I have created this flow page so for this flow page I have created one page class in src main java and I have created one test class in src uh, test java com.qa.pages test cases package so inside this uh, flow page uh, dot java i have created the locators for this accept button the side menu button you can see using at the rate find by annotation i am creating this uh, and locating these uh, elements on that page so here i am using for finding this web element accept button i am using the id and for button side menu i am using xpath and then on this flow page what we are doing right now is we are taking the uh, web driver instance and we are initializing all of our web elements in one go using this init elements of page factory class so all our elements will get uh, handled using this method so it will initialize all those elements in one go other than that we will need uh, some uh, methods execution during our test cases so we have created this test uh, and these methods like this will be our uh, we will be using this accept method and this click on side menu with uh, method in our test case so we are just doing here like we are clicking on the accept button so we have found the x path for it here and we are performing this action to handle the exceptions uh, we have used the try catch block here so if any exception occurs it will throw this uh, message and also uh, similarly to click on the side menu button here we have found this web element we are using the click methods and uh, if any exception occur it will throw that exception and it will show this message unable to click on side menu so once like uh, I will show you after clicking on this side menu button we will be going to this side menu page so for that what we have done is like uh, the next top set of options that we will be performing after flow pages will be on the side menu page so we will be returning the object of side menu page here so inside this method you can see I will be clicking on the side menu button and after that we have the return type as this object here so what it will do it from this onwards it will use the object and the driver of the side menu page so next set of operations we will be using the object of side menu page and the same inst uh, driver instance of the side menu page so now this is the code to locate the web elements and to perform some actions that we have written on our flow page now we go back to our flow test page where we are having our actual test case so here we are using this uh, android driver and we have declared it as public so we can use it throughout the now we have denoted this method with the at the rate before method annotation so this method will get executed for our test cases and here we are calling this initialize driver method which will return us a driver so this method is in our base class so you can see this is the method and it is returning us the 
mobile driver so we are getting that mobile driver here and then we are using that driver inside our test case so this is our actual test case and we have added the description like we will verify the context under help so we will be verifying that help uh, is available as a title or not on that help and feedback page or on the documentation page so we have written this method here verify help test here and uh, we have added this through, uh, clause as well now we are creating the object of flow page here so after that we are using that object and we are calling this accept method which is inside this flow page dot java class and you can see this flow page and flow test these both the classes are extending our test base class so our test base is our super class now once we are uh, done with these activities I, I was talking earlier like after clicking on that accept pop-up uh, accept button on that pop-up we will be clicking on this side menu option so for that what we are doing right now we are just clicking on this side menu using this flow page object and now this object will be returning us the object of side menu page so that's why here we have written the code like side menu page sp equals to fa dot click on side menu and next set of options we will be performing using this sp object of side menu page now inside on this side menu page uh, we, we are having one method as select help and feedback so similar to what we have done on the flow page we have found the x path of help and text button here and help text so what we are doing right now is we are finding the x path we are locating this side menu option here we are uh, locating help and text uh, help and feedback test and then help text so we are finding these elements on this particular page and also similar to what we are done on the flow page we have created some reusable methods here so here we have this uh, constructor where we are uh, uh, setting our web driver and also we are initializing all these elements in a single go now what we are doing is inside this method select uh, help and feedback we are clicking on this help and feedback button and after that you can see we are having this assert here assert dot assert true and we are calling this method like verify help on documentation display so what this method is doing right now is we are waiting for a particular like uh, max 20 millis uh, 20 seconds and we will wait until this x path is visible so we will wait for that help test if it is visible or not so if this uh, x path is visible then we are returning like uh, help test dot is our test case will get executed successfully else it will throw an exception like help text is not displayed on that particular page so and after the execution of this test method and after the execution of this uh, test method uh, we will be running this method like it will always we have marked this as always run equal to true so this method will always run whether our test case is pass or failed this method will always run and here we are quitting our uh, session other than that to execute this uh, test case we have created one testng.xml file where we have added these two listeners now we will go to our com.qa.utilities package and here i have created two java files one is listener.java so inside this uh, listener class which is extending taste base and implementing the artist listeners we have different methods so using this taste ng listeners uh, we can get the uh, 
real time result like uh, when our test case is running it will show us like the test case execution is started once our test case is passed it will print this message on the console if our test case gets failed at that time uh, we are getting that test case name and we are setting that result in our uh, test ng file as well as in our extent report and also we have written here this line of code so if our one of test case our get failed then it will call this take screenshot path method it will pass a test case method name there under driver so now we have this test case uh, test method here so it will take uh, that test case name and it will take a screenshot and it will save that screenshot on this particular path so that's why whenever our test case will get failed we will get a, we will call this take screenshot method which we have in a base class and we will save that screenshot in our reports folder so similarly for different uh, actions like skip and uh, start finish we can use this uh, listeners test ng listeners and to report generation we are using this extend testing uh, test ng listener which is implementing i reporter interface and uh, this will help us to get a report in beautiful format so we can have a test ng report in this framework as well as we can get one index.html file and we can get a report in uh, beautiful format so we can have attach it to the emails and we can share it within the team as well so uh, you can get this code from the internet as well so you can easily get this line of code how you can use the extent test ng listeners and uh, you can generate the report from it i will share this code with you so you can have this listeners listed here in your test ng file and inside this classes that you can give the your class name so this is the path com.qa.testcases.flow and now i will try to run this using test engine so before that you have to make sure that your uh, apm server is running i will stop it i will start it again And also you need to make sure that the configuration which you have mentioned in the desired capabilities is matching with the device you have launched so inside my com.qa.base cases inside this desired capabilities i am having this device this app and this android version so that's why i am launching this pixel file API 30 which is having Android version as 11.0 and we have already mentioned the app path here so we have our app already stored here at the applications now we will run our test ng file as click here run as test ng and we can see the execution here so what it will do it will uh, first install that app on this uh, particular device it will click on accept help and feedback and it will check that test and you can see here our test case execution started message was printed first when test cases was executing so using this uh, test ng listeners and once our test case is passed it is uh, showing this message like the test case is passed and this is our result and we can get the uh, extent report as well so for that we can go to target custom reporter i will open this at web browser so this is my extent report and you can get the logic here like inside my uh, test folders I have created this
this is the file i will open it once again you can open with web browser Uh, now I have added one more class here extent uh, test ng I reported listener so we are not getting the proper results uh, earlier or listener was not working so I have added this class and I have added the entry of it inside this so I will replace it here and now again I will try to run this and now we should get our result at this custom reporter this case is pass we will go to here refresh it once and open with it web browser now we are getting the correct result here it correct report earlier we were not getting the proper report it was using showing the older reports only now we are getting the correct report so we need to use this extend test ng i reporter listener and i have changed it the entry in the test ng xml dot file as well so in this way you can use the maven test ng java and the different libraries that i have already mentioned in the com.xml and you can create a simple mobile automation framework